Chris and Brady here coming at you from the Kabuki Strength Lab. Today we're going to walk through a really cool movement prep. Um, this is kind of a variation between a, a Copenhagen adduction drill and an oblique sling slide, side plank. Now, that's uh, a whole lot of terminology and names that you're probably not even familiar with. Doesn't matter so much. What's cool is the effect that this has on the hip and the core. Now, it looks specifically like an adduction drill, but why I like this, there's a, actually a fair bit of research on this movement um, that demonstrates a reduction in hamstring strains and tears by using this prep. And we're not actually actively training the hamstrings in it, but we're working that whole system. So let me go ahead and uh, have you set up. We'll demonstrate it first to begin with. So we'll start with a static oblique sling side plane. And we're gonna post up on a shoulder here. We're gonna inflate and brace the core. And we're gonna go ahead and come up into the top position. I'm gonna help him so we don't torture him too much on this. We want stack through here, nice and movement through here. Firing in this leg, holding almost all the way to the bar. Go ahead and come down. Good. So now we're gonna add movement. Now the variation of the Copenhagen version is it's a team assisted movement without using a rack or a barbell to, uh, to set up. And you would actually grab somebody that needs assistance and help them through the movement. Now we're dealing with strength athletes here. Uh, so I'd expect you to be able to get three or four repetitions of this. It's going to be really challenging at first, but if you need to do assistance, you can grab a partner or hang a, a set of bands. Now, the difference between this and the side plank is we're actually adding movement, and this is where the power really comes in. It's going to be at the top of the movement and the bottom of the movement. And we actually want to pause for like a second or two at each one of those if we can and hold that. Okay. So let's go ahead and demonstrate the whole movement. Come up and down, not going to deload, and you'll notice the hip is dropping at the same time. So we're opening both legs and dropping the hip, but it's not caving here in the core. We really want to be aware of this, head projection, stack shoulders. And this is why it's a powerful movement that hits so many things, because we're touching all the way from here to here through that oblique sling, which a lot of times we're just focused on those anterior or posterior uh, pieces. So this is a really powerful tool in that manner. Now I have this set bar set up here, but you can use pretty much anything. What we don't want to do is use a bench because it's going to be too low to the ground. So you can set up a, a pin and a rack, uh, set up a, a bar, something that gets you up in that movement so that you can spend some time moving through a greater range of motion. Again, we want to pause a little bit at the top and the bottom. Anything that you'd like to uh, add to this or that I missed, Brady? No, just to re-emphasize, biggest things are going to be setting up in a good position, making sure you have good intro abdominal pressure, being nice and tall through your head, you're not collapsing to one side or the other, and you're in that position the whole time. Excellent. All right, Chris and Brady signing out.